Now we are going to discuss some basics of medical statistics. First, what is the meaning of statistics? Statistics is a mathematical body or science that study collection, analysis, interpretation, and presentation of data. First, why we do statistics? Or what is the function of statistics? Of course, this will present facts as a definite quantitative form. And we can present facts as numbers or percentage. This will facilitate the interpretation of conditions. Also, simplify the complexity of data. We can present the data as a table, as diagram, our graph, and so on. This will simplify the data. And this will also enable the comparison between groups. We can compare group to groups or more by statistical analysis, which is more significant and so on. Classify numerical facts. And this all will help us to do planning and evaluation of the condition. So statistical analysis is very important in research and actual life. What are the steps that we should follow to get an efficient statistical analysis? Number one, to recognize the type of data. Then check the data for any error or outliers. The third step to describe the data. Then analyze the data by using the appropriate statistical test. And lastly, extract the relevant result and present it. We will discuss all these step, steps one by one. First, how to recognize the type of data. There are two major classes of data. Numerical data, which is called quantitative data, and categorical data, which is a qualitative data. Numerical data may be continuous with fractions like body weight equal uh, 71.5 kg, level of hemoglobin 14.6 grams, uh, for example, uh, uh, glucose, blood glucose uh, 76.9 and so on. There is fractions. Discrete mean only integer. There is no fractions. Like heart rate, there is no heart rate with fraction. Heart rate equal 120 feet per minute. Number of patients, number of, chi uh, of children, number of uh, animals. This, there is no here uh, uh, fractions. Uh, the qualitative or categorical may be ordinal or nominal. Ordinal means uh, ranking, like scoring, like grading, grade uh, one, grade two, grade three, or scoring, score one, score, yani, we, we arrange here according to the, uh, in ordinal form. They uh, must have been all mild or moderate to severe. So we can express mild as uh, one, moderate as two, uh, uh, severe as three. If you some scores using this or grading using this uh, uh, mild, moderate, severe. We can express this by numbers like uh, zero, one, two, three, and this is a grading and uh, this will follow ordinal uh, qualitative uh, data. Nominal and binary. Nominal means a character like female or male, uh, like blood, blood groups, for example, group, blood group A, blood group B, uh, A, B, O, this is nominal. Binary means uh, uh, we, we choose from uh, two choices either positive or negative, yes or no. This is a binary. The second step is, is to check the data. Check the data for any error and check the outliers. It's very important to check outliers because outliers is, uh, uh, can affect the, uh, the statistical analysis. 
Outliers means the outlying values that seems incompatible with the rest of the data. يعني ممكن يكون في وسط الأرقام اللي بندخلها رقم أو رقمين أرقام غريبة بعيدة قوي عن ال ال data بتاعتي وبالتالي ممكن ت تسبب مشكلة أثناء ال statistical analysis. تخلي ال standard deviation عالي جدا لدرجة إنها تخلي مثلا ال data non-parametric أو تخليها بعيدة قوي عن النتائج الحقيقية بتاعتها. ولذلك لازم الأول نتشك any outliers وخصوصا في الparametric data. How to check outliers? Uh, we use box and whiskers with post uh, 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 test, the Tuki test, uh, by using graph uh, graph bed prism five or uh, eight. Here, uh, outliers he expressed as a point here. So the point D means that this data containing one outlier. Uh, uh, identifying outlier test or test for outliers. Uh, will be discussed with Dr. Muhammad Habib in the second part of uh, statistical uh, uh, sessions. The third step is to describe the data. What's called descriptive statistics? If it is categorical data, nominal or binary, it will be described as counts of occurrence or frequency and percentage. This is an example for categorical data, nominal. We have a population sample of 277, classified, classified here in the table nominal, paid work, retired housewife, unemployed students, and others. We find that, for example, housewife, the number of housewife in this population, 61 people, which uh, represent 22% of the total population. Students, we have 10 students in this population sample, which represents 3.6% of the total population. So this data presented as frequency and percentage. Can be presented as by chart, like this. We have here example from questionnaire in a cross-sectional study. We ask about uh, uh, the symptoms of GERD, gastroesophageal reflux. We take sample size or population sample, total 607 people. Ask about the symptom of GERD. هل عانيت من أعراض ارتجاع المريء؟ مثل حرقان في الصدر يزيد ليلا أو ارتجاع طعام أو سائل حمضي ده كان سؤال 44% of people اللي هم 607 said no while 56% said yes and this is present by by a chart like this How to describe the numerical and ordinal data? They are described in a measure of central tendency and a measure of variation. Measure of central tendency expressed by mean, median, and mood. Mood is the most common value observed in the sample. And uh, it is of little importance and not used uh, in our statistical practice. While the most commonly used is mean and the median. What is the meaning of mean? Mean is the average or the total of the value, values divided by the number of the values. While median is the value or the number which in, is present in the middle of the data. When we ranked in order. When the mean and the median are equal or are the same, this is means that our data is normally distributed. While if the mean and the means are different, this means that our data is not normally distributed or in other words, it is a non-parametric data.
median lock here median mood mean range what is the difference between these words median means the middle or the number which is in the middle of the values we have nine values here 11 7 11 18 9 7 6 23 and 7 if we arrange these values in order from uh, uh, the smallest to the biggest 6 7 7 9 11 11 18 and 23 we will find that the number which is present in the middle is 9 so 9 is the median while the mean means the average we will do summation or sum all the nine numbers or the nine values and divide by the number of the values so we'll get 11 the mean is the total of the numbers divided by how many numbers or the number of these values the mean here equal 11 what is the mood the number that appears most اكتر رقم بيتكرر في التسع ارقام دول اكتر رقم بيتكرر ثلاث مرات هو مين هو 7 so the mood here is 7 we, we can have more than one mood يعني if there is two numbers uh, appears most يعني we may have two numbers or three numbers according to the uh, 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 number of the values لو repeated uh, this will be uh, more than one mode the range what is the range this is the difference between the largest and the smallest number so here the largest number is 23 and the smallest number is 6 so the difference between these two numbers is 17 so the range here equal 17 in statistical analysis the most commonly used is median and mean Next, how to express majors of variation. Number one, by standard deviation, and number two, by standard error. Standard deviation and standard error are used to express the major of variation in parametric data. While interquartile range and minimum and maximum are used to express the majors of variation in non-parametric data. And we will discuss this in detail. We will talk about the normal distribution of the population or the samples within a group. Any population distributed normally will follow the bell shaped or Gaussian distribution. This is the mean. And the data will be distributed symmetrically around the mean. And the extent of spread of data around this mean will be measured by standard deviation. Area beyond two standard deviations above the mean or below the mean equal 2.5% of the population. Again, this is a curve of normal distribution of a certain values within a certain group and this is the mean and the values will be distributed above or below this mean when they calculate the uh, standard deviation by a certain equation they found that 68 percent of the values will be distributed by one standard deviation above or below while 95 percent of the of the of the uh, individuals or the values will be distributed around the mean by two standard deviation yani the value of the equal two standard deviation above or below the mean while 99.7 percent distributed around the mean by three standard deviation so 
This is the area under the normal curve that lies between one, two, and three standard deviations on each side of the mean. One standard deviation above or below the mean, this is the deviation or the variation within 68% of the population. If a 68% distributed lies, distribution lies within one standard deviation. 95% of the distribution lies within two standard deviations of the mean. While 99.7% of the, of the distribution lies within three standard deviation of the mean. بمعنى إن لما بدخل الداتا بتاعتي على الكمبيوتر وبعمل statistical analysis بتطلع لي مين plus or minus standard deviation. The standard deviation اللي بتطلعه ده هو deviation أو the variation within 68% of the uh, uh, values within this group. لو أنا عاوز ال deviation أو within uh, uh, 95% of the values أو الجروب بتاعتي يبقى هضرب في اتنين يبقى يبقى اتنين ستاندرد ديفيشن فور إكزام ذيس إز ذي ديستريبيوشن أور فاليوز أوف بلاد بريشر تيكن فروم 10 ريتس وي فاوند ذات ذا مين وين ذي كالكيليت ذي 10 فاليوز وير ديفايدد باي 10 ذي فاوند وي فاوند ذات ذا مين أور ذي أفريج Blood pressure equal 105. When we enter this value, uh, the values uh, in the equation to uh, get the standard deviation, we found that the standard deviation equal 5. So 95% of the population uh, of this uh, 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 sample will lies between two standard deviations. Yani هيبقى 95% من الريتس اللي هي ال 10 ريتس 95% منهم هيبقى البلاد بريشر بتاعهم 105 بلس اور ماينس 10 يعني 2 ستاندرد ديفيشن لكن لو هقول 68% يبقى 68% يبقى 1 ستاندرد ديفيشن اللي هو 5 يبقى اذا الستاندرد ديفيشن از ا ميجر اوف فاريابيلتي اوف فاليوز ويزن ا بارتيكولار سامبل السامبل بتاعتي اللي انا مستخدمه سي مثلا هم 10 فران او 12 فار او 8 او 6 او هكذا يبقى ده الستاندرد ديفيشن هو الفاريشن ويزن ا سيرتن سامبل وات از ذا ديفرنس بتوين ستاندرد ديفيشن اند ستاندرد ايرور اجين ستاندرد ديفيشن از ا ميجر اوف فاريابيلتي اوف سكورز اور فاليوز ويزن ا بارتيكولار سامبل While the standard error of mean is a measure of variability of the sample mean from the true population mean. يعني حاجة افتراضية هي عبارة عن the deviation or the variation sample بتاعتي the mean of the sample للكل the population بتاعة الريتس true population mean. فدي حاجة بتبقى افتراضية كل طبعا مع عدد the sample بتاعي هيكون اللي أنا واخدها هتكون كبيرة كل ما هيكون the deviation أقل. يعني الـ standard error of mean هيبقى أقل وبرضه الـ standard deviation هيبقى أقل يبقى طب لما أجي أسأل سؤال هل عمليا أو practically إحنا بنستخدم الـ standard deviation ولا standard error ممكن أستخدم الاثنين لكن مين الأقرب للـ logic أو مين الأقرب للواقع هو الـ standard deviation لأن أنا بتكلم على الـ deviation أو الـ variation of the values within the sample اللي أنا باخدها في المعمل We can calculate standard error of mean can be calculated from standard deviation by using this equation. Standard error of mean equal standard deviation divided by the root of the number of the sample. يعني جذر عشرة جذر تمانية على حسب عدد ال ال number of sample اللي أنا أخدته. طيب في سؤال هنا بتسأل هل مين الأصح أو مين ال more applicable في شغلنا في في المعمل؟ هل إن أنا أستخدم to express my data by the variation يعني by the variability by standard deviation or standard error؟ It is طبعاً more logic إن أنا أستخدم standard deviation لأن هي the deviation 
او الفاريابيلتي اوف ما ذا مين اوف ذا سامبل فروم ذا سيرتن بوبيوليشن اللي انا بستخدمها او السامبل اللي انا باخدها يبقى الديفيشن فروم ذا سيرتن سامبل هي الاصح في استخدامها في الاكسبريشن اوف ماي داتا لكن في بعض الاحوال ممكن برضو نستخدم ستاندر ايرور اوف مين مفيش مشكله لان هي كالكوليتد Then what are the factors that can determine or affect the standard deviation? We have two factors. The spread or the difference of values from the mean and the number of values. The smaller the spread or the smaller the difference of values from the mean, the lower the standard deviation. So there is a direct relationship. كل ما يكون ال difference between the values قليل كل ما يكون the standard deviation قليل لأن هو the variation from the mean. And the second factor is the number of values or the sample size. The smaller the sample size, the higher the standard deviation. The higher the sample size, the smaller the standard deviation. There is an inverse relationship. If you look here. We have sample size number 10 and the standard deviation of the first sample is higher than the second sample which is 50 number where the last sample which is the number 150 we get more or smaller uh, uh, standard deviation. So when we increase this, the sample size we will get smaller standard deviation. So there is an inverse relationship. If the data is not normally distribution, not follow Gaussian distribution, this is a non-parametric data and we will use another uh, measure of variability which is interquartile range or minimum and maximum. How to recognize the distribution if it follow normal distribution or, or not follow normal distribution? First, by using histogram and judgment here by I. If you look on the right side, uh, you will find the, there is no normal distribution, while on the right side there is a normal distribution. 95% is distributed around mean. We can also recognize by calculating the mean and the median. If the mean and the median are equal, this is a normal distributed. If the mean uh, differ from median, this is not normally distributed. The third method by drawing a normal plot, normality plot. Any departures from the straight line are seen as departures of the sample of uh, sample data from the normality. يعني أي انحراف هيحصل أو خروج من ال 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 data بر الخط line ال straight ده ده معناها إنه هو not follow normality أو normally distributed. The fourth method is to use a test for normality by graph bad prism, and we compare the data to normal distribution. With mean and standard deviation. If the test is not significant, uh, then the data is normally distributed or called past normality test. Yes. It will be discussed in detail in part two, practical part in statistic uh, session. Uh, if you look here, we use the three tests for Gaussian distribution or normal, and the p value here. Okay. B summary is significant, significant p value, and our data not passed, no, not passed the normality test. So this data is non uh, parametric or not normally distributed. While if the p value is not significant, it will be uh, uh, passing the uh, normal normality test and say yes. How to differentiate between parametric and non-parametric data? وفي الحقيقة ده سؤال بتكرر كتير جدا. إمتى أقول على الداتا دي إنها parametric أو non-parametric? 
This table will summarize the difference between parametric and non-parametric data. First, parametric assumed normal distribution, so passed the normality test, while non-parametric no assumed shaped, malhash shape ولا distribution محدد. Parametric data handle the interval or numerical data, our ratio. بشرط إن هم يكونوا normally distributed while non-parametric can handle interval data and ratios or numerical data but not normally distributed. In addition, non-parametric data also handle the ordinal data, nominal data or ranked data. This is follow non-parametric data. Parametric data results can be significantly affected by outliers. يعني we should do test for outliers when our data is parametric. While in non-parametric data, it is not affected by outliers. Of course, parametric is more statistically powerful. It is a quantitative data. While non-parametric is lower powerful or يعني uh, not so powerful as parametric because it may be quantitative or ranked or qualitative data. Parametric data is expressed as mean plus or minus standard deviation as a central measure and variation measure. While non-parametric data is expressed as median in the center measure and interquartile range or minimum maximum in the variation of measure. Parametric data in parametric data, we find that median and mean are equal, while in non-parametric data, median and mean are different. The last point, it, it, we found this uh, in some references. In some statistical box said that the standard deviation, if standard deviation is small or less than 30% of the mean, this means that this data may be parametric, while if the standard deviation is higher than 30% of the mean, this means that this data is non-parametric. But there is a debate about this percent. Median and the interquartile range. What is the meaning of interquartile range? The median is the median middle value. فا ال 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 الميديان هنا البندل فاليو بتاعي اللي بتقع القيمة اللي بتقع في النص طيب ال 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 إنتر كوارتايل رينج في عندي اللوست كوارتايل والهايست كوارتايل يعني أنا هقسم هنا الداتا بتاعتي من أول الميديان في نصين نص فوقها ونص تحتها النص اللي تحتها ده بسميه اللوست هاف والنص اللي فوقيها بسميه الهايست هاف أو ال الهاف الأعلى هاخد برضو الميديان بتاع الهاف اللي هو اللوست بقى ده الكوارتا كاني هقسم الداتا الى اربع تربع الربع الاول او اللي هو Q1 ده اللي ما بين الـ الـ يعتبر الميديان بتاع اللوست هاف لكن الـ Q3 ده الكوارتايل نمبر 3 اللي هو يعتبر ايه الميديان بتاع الابر هاف لو طرحت ال Q ال Q3 من طرحت منها Q1 ده هو ده الانتر كوارتايل رينج يبقى ده الانتر كوارتايل رينج هو الديفرنس ما بين Q3 وال Q1 صح اكتر يعني what is the meaning of inter quartile range this is a major of the spread equal to upper quartile اللي هو quartile 3 اللي هو الميديان بتاع الابر هاف ماينس اطرح منه اللور كوارتايل اللي هو الميديان بتاع اللور هاف طيب هاو تو فايند ذيس بحسب الكوارتايلز ازاي بحسب الكوارتايلز عن طريق نمبر 1 ارينج داتا سكورز ان اسيندنج اوردر يعني هحطها بشكل تصاعدي من الصغير للكبير وهرص الداتا عندي بالطريقه دي زين زين بعد كده الخطوه اللي بعدها Find the median 
الميديان اللي هو الرقم الميدل نمبر اوف ذا داتا دي بعتبرها كوارتايل 2 الميديان بتاع الداتا بتاعتي الميديان بتاع الداتا قسمت لي الى ابر هاف ولور هاف طب الميديان اوف ذا لور هاف هو ده اللي بسميه كوارتايل 1 الميديان اوف ذا ابر هاف بسميه كوارتايل 3 فالانتر كوارتايل هو الفرق ما بين كوارتايل 3 وكوارتايل 1 This slide will discuss an example how to find the interquartile range what is the meaning of upper quartile and lower quartile As you see here we have a set of uh, scores or values The first step to arrange the values in ascending manner The lowest value is, 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 here is 30, and the highest value is 88. يعني لو أنا خدت ال values اللي فوق ديت أهي الأرقام دي أرقام أنا رتبتها الأول ترت ترتيب تصاعدي من الصغير للكبير. فأصغر رقم بقى عندي هو 30, 30 وأكبر رقم اللي هو 88. The second step is to find the median. طبعا هنا هير وي هاف تو ميديانز 60 اند 64 وي ويل تيك ذا افريج يعني هنجمع ال 60 على 64 ونقسمهم على 2 فانا هنا باخد هتطلع لي في الاخر 62 سو ذا ميديان از 62 ده الميديان ذس ذا ميديان از كونسيدرد كوارتايل 2 كوارتايل 2 لان انا بقسم الداتا الى بيقسمها لي الى ابر هاف ولور هاف ده لور هاف اللي هو بيبدا من الرقم الصغير اللي هو 30 لحد 60 لو خدت الميديان اللي هو الرقم اللي في النص ده اسمه ايه اسمه كوارتايل 1 او اللور كوارتايل سو ذا لور كوارتايل از ذا ميديان اوف ذا لور هاف هو ذا ابر كوارتايل از ذا ميديان اوف ذا أبر هاف أو الـ 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 النص اللي بيحتوي على الأعداد الكبيرة هاخد الميديان بتاعه بقى ده كوارتايل 3 أو الأبر كوارتايل لو أنا طرحت الأبر كوارتايل طرحت منه اللور كوارتايل يعني كوارتايل 3 اللي هو يعتبر هنا 68 ماينس 42 ده هيديني انتر كوارتايل رينج طلع هنا عندي 26 so the 26 is the, the interquartile range so we can express this data as what median which is 62 between brackets we will put the interquartile range with it 26 median interquartile range so 62 and 26 interquartile range we can express also the data by median and using minimum and maximum Here, what is the minimum value? Minimum value is 30. Maximum value is 88. So we can express also the non-parametric data by using the median 62 between brackets minimum and maximum, so 30 and 88. This is how, and this is box and whiskers, minimum and maximum, quartile one, quartile three, and In the middle, there is a median, which is quartile 2, which is a median. So median interquartile range or median and minimum maximum. This is the method how to express the non-parametric data variation. This is an example taken from El Garf et al. 2014. Expressing the number of crossed squares in open field test. Between two groups at two different times, 24 hours and say after six weeks, the two groups saline and, and LPS group, as we see here, we express the data as median and interquartile range using box and whiskers and analyze the data by two-way repeated measure. And there is no significance between groups. 
we can also express here is another example for expressing data non-parametric in the form of median and interquartile range and here we express uh, this data by using bar charts or uh, column graph id uh, this is taken from uh, abul futuh et al 2015 uh, this statistical analysis uh, was done by a uh, croxel wireless test uh, and expressing data not by uh, box and whiskers to summarize what we said about central tendency and variation according to the type of data if our data is not normally distributed or ordinal variables or non-parametric data we express the central tendency and variation in the form of median and interquartile range or minimum and maximum while if our data is normally distributed we can express the central tendency and variation by using mean plus or minus standard deviation or standard error the last point to discuss two important statistical concepts number one statistical errors we have two statistical er errors while doing a statistical analysis should be considered number one type one error type one error which is called the false positive which means that finding a significant difference even there is no difference by chance for example يعني إن أنا لقيت في فرق there is a significant difference while there is no a difference هي الصدفة بس هي اللي خلت إن في فرق بالصدفة الفا ال ال الرات بتاعي كان البلاد بريشر بتاعه عالي بالصدفة لكن مش عشان الدواء أو عشان الانترفينشن اللي نديته طب نسبة الصدفة دي مسموح بيها في الاستاتستيك تبقى قد إيه تبقى أقل من خمسة في المية يبقى تساوي أو أقل من خمسة في المية this is the range المسموح به يبقى usually set ال type one error at five percent or zero point zero five في بعض ال experiments عشان بتبقى ليها impact خطير أو life threatening technique أو 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 الدواء بتاعي مثلا في بيستخدم في life Uh, threatening conditions في الحالة دي sometimes we can sit على uh, uh, lower uh, uh, type 1 error لأن الموضوع لا يتحمل إنه يتحط في error 5% فساعات ممكن نعمل sit بس دي في بعض التجارب وغالبا بتبقى في clinical بتبقى على أقل من كده يعني أنا عايز نسبة ال chance تكون بس 1% مش هقبل ال 5% ده طبعا بيبقى مور في الكلينيكال او في في الحاجات ريليتد للايف ثريتنينج كونديشنز ا وي اكسبريس الالفا باي يوزنج بي فاليو وي سيد بي فاليو وات از ذا مينينج اوف بي فاليو بي فاليو از ا بروبابيليتي بروبابيليتي اوف اوبتينينج بوزيتيف ريزالتس او بوزيتيف تشينج باي تشانس اند ذا وين وي سيد ذات بي فاليو از ليس ذان 0.05 or less than uh, 5% this this is good because we restrict here the type 1 error or alpha error فاللي مسموح بيها عشان اقول ان في significant difference ان انا بسيت ال level of significance بتاعي على ان ال p value تكون اقل من 5% او اقل من less than 0.05 what is the meaning of type 2 error or beta error Here we check the power of the mic of the experiment. This means the false negative. What is the meaning of false negative? Yani failure to find the significant difference while it is exist. Yani fee difference ma bin two groups, but the experiment ptati ma adrich in heya the peak the difference da. Adrich tahsur aliya or adrich tahsurha. Masmuh bida in yikun. لا يتجاوز ال 20% يعني نسبه الباور اوف ذا اكسبيرمنت هي الابيليتي تو اوبتين 
بوزيتيف ريزالتس تبقى قد ايه تبقى 80 في المية يبقى ديت ان هي الابيليتي اوف دي او الباور اوف ماي اكسبيرمنت شود بي مور ذان 80% 80% او اكتر لكن مش اقل من 80% لكن لو اقل من 80% التايب 2 ايرور هيبقى عالي هيبقى اعلى من 20% وده نوت ايه نوت ابروفد في الستاتستيك طبعا احنا وي ديسكاس الباور قبل كده في الداتا شو ديسكاسنج سامبل سايز يو شود ريمبر وات از ذا مينينج اوف باور اند وين وي كان وي شود كالكوليت ذا باور اند سو اون ذا سكند كونسبت هير از ذا ستاتستيكال تيست وي هاف بارامتريك تيست اند نون بارامتريك تيست اور تيست فور بارامتريك داتا اند other tests for non-parametric data which is not normally distributed or in ordinal variables of data. This table will summarize the basic statistical tests used in parametric and non-parametric data. The yellow column the if we compare two groups. So if we have number one if we have two groups And the data is parametric, and the two groups are non-matched. يعني what is the meaning of non-matched? يعني two different groups مختلفين عن بعض. يعني say مثلاً control و model. في الحالة دي بتبقى non-matched. ولقيت إن هي test of normality لقيت إن هي normal distributed خلاص بقى ده parametric. يبقى parametric و non-matched. هستخدم لو هقارن two groups if we compare two groups only, we use unbearty test. Parametric and matched. What is the meaning of matched? They are the same group, but at different times, before treatment and after treatment, or week one and week two, for example. In this case, we use a bird t test. If we have a non-parametric data between two groups, if the two groups are not matched, يعني مختلفين control and model for example here we use man whitney يبقى اذا المان whitney test ده يعتبر ال alternative of unbirthy test if the data is non-parametric while wilcoxon is the test alternative to birthy test if we have a non-parametric in matched data before or after but but the numbers or the data is non-parametric في الحالة دي we can use wilcoxon test The categorical is, of course, nominal is non-parametric. We use chi-square either by two groups or more than two groups. As regarding more than two groups, three or more, again, parametric or non-parametric, matched or non-matched. If we have more than two groups and non-matched, يعني مثلاً control model. And model plus drug E. يبقى عندي ثلاثة groups. في الحالة دي we use ANOVA. In case of being parametric, if the same three groups but the data is not is not parametric, يعني non-parametric and non-matched, we use Croxell-Wallis instead of ANOVA. يبقى كروكسل ويلز هو البديل بتاع الانوفا instead of being non-parametric طب repeated major ANOVA used when there is a parametric matched يعني ايه؟ يعني نفس الجروبس but at different times for example we have three groups uh, we measure uh, 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 blood pressure or we measure body weight Week one, week two, week three. We use here to compare between groups the repeated major, not to weigh ANOVA. طبعا هنا في غلطة كتير بيقع فيها إن هم بيدخلوها على الكمبيوتر ويقارنوها ك two way ANOVA. لا هي repeated major ANOVA. طبعا إحنا عارفين إن إحنا دوير in comparison we have dependent and non-dependent variable. The dependent variable ده اللي هو 
الحاجه اللي انا بقيسها الميجر اللي انا بقيسه زي مثلا انا بقيس البلاد بريشر او زي انا بقيس بادي ويت بادي ويت يبقى البادي ويت ده هو الديبندنت الاندبندنت فاريبل هو اللي انا بتحكم فيه اللي هو مثلا الكنترول او الموديل او الموديل بلس ايه بلس اللي يبقى هنا ويبقى هنا التريتمنت فبعتبر التريتمنت اللي انا بديه هو دوت الايه الاندبندنت If we have two independent variables, في الحالة دي بستخدم the two-way ANOVA. And this will be discussed in details with Dr. Muhammad Habib in the second part. But if we use there is no the the independent the other independent variable is the time. In this case, we use repeated measure ANOVA. يعني لو أنا عندي ثلاثة variables واحد dependent واثنين independent هبص على the independent دول. لو واحد منهم التايم يعني يعني بكررها في كده لا ما يعتبرش تو واي انوف يعتبر ريبيتد ميجر انوف لان في ناس للاسف بتتلخبط ما بين الريبيتد ميجر والتو واي انوف فتيك كير وذس ويل بي ديسكاسد ان ديتيلز ويز دكتور محمد حبيب ان دي سكند بارت اوف ستاتستيكال كورس اف وي هاف ان امبارامتريك اند ماتشد يعني ايه البديل بقى للريبيتد ميجر انوفا If we have a non-parametric, this is a Friedman test. يبقى the Friedman test هو بديل the repeated measure في non-parametric, and the Crocs-Wallace هو بديل the ANOVA في the non-parametric. The correlation we have a person's correlation and Spearman's correlation according to being parametric and non-parametric. Course. Lastly, the last point is 0.5. which is a cut-off value of alpha uh, um, error, is traditionally used to decide between significant and non-significant. يعني ده الفاصل اللي بيقول الداتا بتاعتي significant difference or not significant difference. كل ما يكون ال b-value أقل معناها إنها ال difference أكبر. يعني إيه؟ يعني say, say مثلاً إن, إن ال p-value بتاعتي 0.05 uh, uh, 0.01 0.001 طبعا كل ما يكون البي فاليو اقل كل ما يكون مور سيجنيفيكانت بس ما عادش حد بيقول مور سيجنيفيكانت ولا سيجنيفيكانت الافضل ان انا اكتب قيمه البي فاليو لكن كلها سيجنيفيكانت يبقى ات از ذا بيست تو رايت ذا ذا The value of p value, the value, actual value of p value, not saying it is significant or non-significant, more than 0.05 or less than 0.05. You fadl طبعا نك تقول قيمة ال a قيمة ال p value نفسها. كمان sometimes the computer ممكن يطلع لك إن ال p value equal 0.000. طبعا مش هكتب كده بحولها إلى 0.001. This graph or flowchart summarizes what we all discuss as regards the type of data, numerical and categorical. Descriptive statistic means plus or minus standard deviation or median and interquartile range or, me or count or percent. Then the type of statistical test according to the type of the data. And this flowchart will be used for discussion of each test in the next part of statistical session, part two, with Dr. Muhammad Habib, inshallah. Now go to the practical part by using that prism uh, it with Dr. Muhammad. And thank you.